Hello and welcome back to Alice Goes Sailing. We've just woken up here at Newtowns Creek and uh, there's lots of boats that's out in the Solent. So uh, we're gonna go join them. Right, you can see on the chart plotter that where we spent our night, we dropped the anchor somewhere up here and we rocked back and forth while we had dinner and then I dropped out a touch more road uh, so you can get a little bit more distance off that bank at the on the side. Um, but apart from that, perfect night. Just started up the trusty outboard and we're just about to pull the anchor. Right, we're just motoring it out into the Solent. We've got a little outboard whizzing away and uh, I'm cheating a little bit. We want to go back to Hayding Island, which is down there. You can see the tip of cows on the right and then Southampton up to the left. And uh, we're going dead into wind. So to pinch the degrees, we're just going to motor a bit this way to save us having to do maybe a tack or two to get up and out. Uh, just an extra five minutes of motoring to get out across this side and uh, yeah, then we get some speed on. Right, cows is just over there. Um, we've got a full main and you know, out. I need to pay attention where I'm going. I'm trying to pinch the top of cows, but I might, might have to attack. I think I'm gonna have to do at least one. Um, but yeah, we've got the new twisted shackles on the Genoa, top and bottom which is really good because I needed them. I just had normal shackles. Yeah. And then we've also got the kicker on and the kicker's doing a pretty good job. There's a yacht back there with uh, like a 40, 50 foot sailboat on top of the mega yacht. That is uh, excessive to say the least. Sun class 3200. That's what I want to get. That's the next boat. Right, it looks like we just pinched it. Oh, you're a little bit dirty. We just pinched a point at cows. Uh, didn't have to attack, which is good. Uh, we've got those spinnakers up, and uh, once we get around this point, it should be a beam, maybe a little bit downwind, so that'd be good. And the sun is out. Woo! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty epic. Oh, a blast. Right, cows is all the way over there now, so uh, the weather has and perfect, some clouds have gone over. Nice and sunny, look at that. Loads of boats on the water as well. Same, get a little wave. You always wave at sailors for some reason. You just go past and wave and wave back. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look at that. You get a gust every so often, you pick up some speed. I think we're averaging roughly four to five knots, depending, with one knot of current against us, which is slowly diminishing to nothing.
just coming past Portsmouth, as you can see. There's a, an underwater barricade thing going between the middle fort and uh, land. So I'm gonna try, there's a boat passage in between it. So I'm gonna try and go through that and actually see how deep, so if you can actually see whatever that barricade is. Because uh, I wonder if I can just go straight over it. We've eyed up the uh, break in the wall, so to speak, and the sun's gone in. So I put my t-shirt back on. Ah, there's a big boat coming. the edge of the Isle of Wight over there. Sun is setting and we're just going to anchor at East Head for the night as there's not going to be much wind tomorrow so uh, we're going to chill out at East Head tomorrow I think. Um, it's low tide pretty much in a minute so uh, we're going to be scraping and scratching to get in. So. Get ready! Love it in now. That's it for this episode, and in the next one, I'm going to be enjoying the warm waters of East Head. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Leave your comments down below and I will catch you guys next time.